load it up with some CB shorts and see how it does. Alright guys, went back today with one of my favorite styles of 22 long rifle plinkers, a Heritage Manufacturing Rough Rider Single Action Revolver. If you're unfamiliar, I reviewed a lot of these on the channel, and honestly, most of them came from American Pawn and Gun located in Monroe, North Carolina, and APG actually sent this one out to the channel for us to try as well. Now this one was used, but in light new condition. They seem to have a lot of different versions of this firearm in stock. They've got the Barkeep, which is the smaller one. They actually sent that out to review a while back and I absolutely love it. Such a cool little plinker. They have a lot of the standard version and a few of the longer versions as you see here and even some with the 22 mag cylinder. Now this is pretty slick because it's a single action plinker that doesn't break the bank. It's built incredibly well and if you follow the channel you'll know I have thousands of rounds through the Heritage revolvers depending on which version you're talking about and I've never had a failure. In fact I practice spinning single action revolvers with these guys in part because they actually have a safety. One of the only single action revolvers that has a safety so it prevents the hammer from hitting the firing pin even if the trigger is pulled so that's pretty cool if you want to practice single action spinning like hands down this is what i recommend if you want to get into that kind of style shooting cowboy action style shooting it's just a fun safe reliable firearm the other cool thing about these is, again, they're almost practical as varmint getters because they are so accurate down at the range. Now, this is a new one to the channel. I've never had the six and a half inch barrel version, but this is growing on me and it's growing on me fast. It gives you a little bit more velocity than the standard version, a longer sight radius to make accurate shots at a distance. And not only would this be a great gun to practice spinning and flipping a single action revolver and cowboy action shooting, but this is also a great basic ranch revolver or a varmint getter. Again, you get just a little bit more increased velocity over a standard 22 long rifle pistol with a six and a half inch barrel um, because a lot of those other revolvers as well as semi-autos are rocking about a three to four inch barrel. That sight radius too is really crisp and clean. Let's cock that back right there. It's hard to pick up on camera, but it is very long, allowing you to take shots at a distance. The other cool thing about this is you can switch out to the 22 mag cylinders if you're trying to get a little bit bigger varmint and really pack a punch, but swap back to 22 long rifle if you just want to plink at the range or get smaller varmint. The other nice thing about this, this would be a great training aid for newer shooters. A lot of times when you're taking somebody out to the range, handing them a micro 9mm or a micro 380 that you're concealed carrying is really going to shock somebody if it's the first time they've ever pulled a trigger. When you grab something like this with the weight of the revolver and the light recoiling impact of a 22 long rifle, you get a smooth, just great experience with a really nice trigger. And with the addition of the safety and the fact that you have to cock the hammer each time, it makes this a great shooting revolver. Overall, I've actually dropped a lot of these on a wide variety of surfaces while learning to spin a revolver. And I'm a novice, I'm mediocre at best. Like I'm not good at all at spinning revolvers. My cameraman, Brett, is like infinitely better at it than me, but I love doing it and when I practice I use these guys and like I said every time I've dropped them broke I'm, they, they don't break every time I drop them knock them down uh, mess them up they just keep on going I've never had any issues with them and I can highly recommend them for a wide variety of applications. So I did want to bring out my original Heritage Rough Rider and 22 long rifle that I actually bought from American Pawn and Gun a while back. And I want to show you guys the comparison between the six and a half inch version. Again, you get that slightly longer barrel and extended sight radius. And I feel like if you're picking one for a general purpose revolver, both of these are great options. If you're primarily going to be using this as a varmint getter, I would absolutely select the larger version. 
Also, if you were learning how to spin, either one of these would be great. But if you wanted something a little bit more compact, this guy would be good, but still accomplish a lot of other tasks. But either of these are great options for a general purpose single action revolver that is not only fun down at the range, but actually practical in a wide variety of applications. And if you guys want one, they're affordable. A lot of these can be had, uh, sub, well, all of them can be had sub $200. I think they're very rare that one goes over $200. Uh, this one with the dual cylinder sometimes goes over $200, but this was like under $150 on their shelves. Now, you know, prices fluctuate, things vary. The best thing to do is reach out to him if you're looking for something like this and he'll hook you up. You know, he's always got transitioning stock and inventory. So it may be great to talk to Greg, uh, the owner of American Pawn and Gun, but absolutely love these single action revolvers. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. I know a lot of times cheaper guns, budget guns can be controversial. A lot of guys just stay away from them, but this is one of the best, like, budget, reliable little single actions I've tried. I absolutely love them. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you have one? Do you shoot it? How is yours holding up? And again, I just appreciate the support of American Pawn and Gun for helping me make this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.